Hey peeps, it's Donna, also known as Schwig. Just thought I'd do my update before um, I have to pick up my friend from surgery. Um, so this is week, I don't, I don't, I don't have any idea. It's the 29, week 30. It'll be down in the comments or in the uh, thing below or in the title. It'll be in the title. Um, anyway, so my, um, I had... My name is Donna. I am four, five foot six and a half. I am 46 years old and I had bariatric surgery, uh, gastric bypass or RNY, uh, with Dr. Tom Umbuck, Blossom Bariatrics in Las Vegas. Uh, my high weight was 337 pounds. My surgery date, I was 303.3 pounds. Uh, last week I was 226.9 and this week I am 226.9. I am very, very happy with that. Uh, I did watch my scale go up and up, um, just, a, you know, between 227 and 231 for the last month. So to be the 226 and even to hold strong there for this last week, um, yeah, it, it feels good. <clears throat> Everything that's been happening with me in my life right now has just created so much stress. I think it's just really slowed everything down for me. And that's okay. It is what it is. So, um, like I said, I think I said at the beginning of this video, I'm just waiting for my friend to get out of surgery. Um, they will be um, coming back here. Well, I'll be picking them up and uh, they'll be coming back here where I take care of them for the rest of the weekend for sure. And if I need to for the rest of the week and if I have to for the rest of the month. So <laughs> whatever it takes, I will do it. Um, uh, yeah, yesterday was so super stressful. Uh, packing to get down to Victoria for the um, surgery. Uh, all in itself was stressful just because I'm trying to pack up all my work stuff. I've packed my computer, I've packed um, everything so that I can still work. So I'm not stressing about that while I'm gone and taking advantage of the downtime too. Um, and uh, so yesterday was the close of my youngest son's house. Um, we had to have all the subjects off and financing in place and stuff. Um, what else? All the subjects, the financing. Yeah, it, it just all had to be done by yesterday, by last night at midnight. Well, by nine o'clock in the morning, uh, I got a phone call from the real estate agent and he said, I can't get a hold of your son, uh, but I need him to sign some papers and I need this other person to sign some papers and we need to get another person to sign the papers. So I was the go-between for these two of the people anyways three people three of the four people that were involved and uh yeah it was just it was mental it was absolutely mental yesterday uh trying to coordinate for the signatures and and then some didn't know how to do the electronic signing and some didn't want to do the um you know so we couldn't just get hold of people my son was out on a, a work site where he um he was literally, well, he was out of cell range, so he wasn't able to even, he didn't know anybody was even trying to get a hold of him. So that was, that was one thing. And that lasted until about two o'clock in the afternoon, doing all this running around and trying to coordinate it all. And then, um, the real estate agent phoned back and said, I need to know about the oldest son who's put an offer in on another house. And he, uh, needed to get a hold of him and what time zone was he in and all the rest of that stuff. So... So it was just, it was just added to the stuff that I had to do and, you know, just, I didn't get a whole lot done yesterday, um, simply because of the packing and all the rest of this, the, the house stuff and the stress. Oh my God, just this, the stress, the stress of thinking about my friend and what they're going through right now, um, is all by itself. Tip, just about tipping me over and then my oldest son went back to work I've mentioned to you guys before that he works overseas what I haven't really mentioned to you is whereabouts he is so he he um, he has several layovers when he flies and you know he flies 
close to areas of conflict in the world, you know, that's happening in the world today. And uh, that there is a tipping point for me. So I got onto my, I, you know, I opened up my, my Facebook yesterday and the first thing I see is how North Korea is threatening to wipe the U.S. off the map. And I'm like, oh my God. And my son was in South Korea at the time and or he is flying into South Korea as one of his layovers and just like, oh, just, you know, it's <laughs> I just about lost it. I don't watch very much news for that reason. <laughs> I it just it, it, it I can't handle it. I can't handle I can't handle knowing everything that's going on and knowing that I have no control over where my my child is. And uh, by now he should be in Russia where he works. <laughs> another place you want to be but you know it, it is what it is and and I don't want to say I try to forget about him while he's gone um I try to forget where he is I try to forget I and I and I you know I I truly appreciate that he is still my little boy and still phones and talks to me and text messages and facetimes and and stuff so you know, that releases, re relieves some of my anxiety, but I don't know. It's, uh, it's tough sometimes. And, uh, yeah, so back to my weight in case you guys tuned in to hear about that. Uh, so it's at a stalemate, it seems like, but, but like I said, I, I'm, I'm good with that. I haven't really been doing a whole lot of exercise lately. Uh, as part, that, that's the kind of true and not true. As part of um, releasing some of the anxiety that I have, I have been going out to the gym and just doing like 15 minutes really quick on the treadmill. And, and it really, really helps. It hugely helps to just r release all that tension that I have in my gut. And, uh, but you know, like as far as my food, I would say I'm not hundred percent perfect, but, uh, I would say I'm 98% perfect. So I'm not concerned about, you know, lo uh, not losing weight because of what I'm eating. Still drinking tons of water. Uh, I've got my, <laughs> look at what I did. I got my infused water and I got my regular water. No, infused and regular. So my regular water cup does not get anything but water in it. And then this one, I can put whatever I want. So that's that. Take a sip, peeps. <laughs> um, well, that's about it right now. Uh, I am, I'm going to go back to the hospital early because I, I would hate for my friend to wake up and not have anybody there. So just a tip to everybody. I think I said this in my last video, but I'm going to say it again. Go get yourselves checked out. Don't put it on hold. My friend found a lump in their chest um, back in July of last year. They were going through a lot of stuff um, at the time and uh, didn't get it checked out and waited until now to get it checked out. So there's some anxiety about knowing what stage cancer um, they are in because we don't find out for two week, until about two weeks after the surgery uh, where they can really test it to figure it out. But another thing I don't think I've told you guys is my friend is a man. So even you men out there, make sure you check yourselves out. Um, it's not part of regular screening for for men and 5% of men get breast cancer so you know take care of yourselves put yourselves first for for this kind of stuff and and get yourselves checked out and get you know keep up with all your blood work and stuff and make sure your vitamins are all up to date and you take your vitamins take your drink your water eat your protein exercise I know, easier said than done sometimes, but just do it. Do it. 
I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to make sure all I've got all my I's dotted and all my T's crossed. What more can you do, right? Alrighty, peeps. So I'm going to go and I hope to talk to you guys again soon. Hopefully everything here is settling down. The one uh, kid is going to have his house in the middle of May. He'll be in it. But for now, that part of my anxiety should be drifting away. The other son, oh my God. Okay, so because he works overseas, I have power of attorney over all of his affairs here in Canada. And um, yeah, if, if he purchases his house, I'm the one who has to do all the paperwork and stuff. And, and that's not a big deal. I'm used to doing paperwork. That's my job. I, I do that. Uh, the thing is, when you've got control over that much money of somebody else's, I think I'm, I'm more worried about screwing up. And, you know, it's, this is not the first place that we've done this way. Um, his last place, I had to do the finishing of, uh, you know, the closing of all of the, the contracts and stuff for his, his last real estate deal. And, um... But it wasn't easy. <laughs> it wasn't easy. At that time, we didn't necessarily have all the paperwork in place for me to do everything. But we do this time, so hopefully it should go a little bit smoother. But it's still... Oh! So, I keep rambling on. I gotta go. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, I gotta go. Okay, I hope you guys are all having a really super great day. I hope you have a super great weekend. Thank you again to all my subscribers. Um... I know some of my videos are starting to leer off more into the personal and not so much into the weight loss part of it, but I think it all is relevant, you know? Um, but, you know, if you're still interested in hearing about me, about my life, about my weight loss, about my family, about, yeah, about whatever I'm thinking at the moment, give me a thumbs up down there. And uh, if you're new to my channel, hey! If you're uh, returning to my channel, thank you. Thank you so, so much. And... Um, I will come back to you guys again soon. Peace out, peeps.